Yeah, and I just think uh, the way now that they, they move forward as a team, um, I think the system... Uh, and just got the proper players in to play that system. Um, the full backs go forward, they join in, they overload in midfield, they overlap, it takes great fitness levels. Um, and when they lose it, there's almost like a trigger. They want to win it back as quick as they can. They've got quick, clever players, wingers who can take full backs on. Um, they can cut inside a barder, was it 13, 14 goals this season? Jota on the left hand side, they've got. They've got players with that type of um, suit the system, if you like, Jack mm. Amakis, different type of player to Kyogo. He'll, he'll sort of show and he'll be a focal point for you on the edge of the box to bounce the ball off, whereas Kyogo is a willing runner in behind. Then midfield, so much balance. Who do you play now? Do you play O'Reilly? Do you play M McGregor? McGregor plays. Mm. He is your E. He plays. Do you play then um, Rogic? You've got to play Atate, haven't you? Alongside, do you play uh, Atate on, on his latest form? Do you play Matt O'Reilly? So he's got the options. I'll just read off the bench, Rob, at the weekend. Mm -hmm. The difference in the bench now, what, what he has to come on and not only make a difference, but just to, to be of that similar quality. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, uh, three or four months ago, you're looking at the bench, and it was youngsters, yeah. it was players who hadn't really been improved themselves. Mm. So the bench at the weekend was Forrest, O'Reilly, Yotta, Juranovic, Turnbull to come back, mm -hmm. Kyogo to come back into it. Julian to come back. Julian with thumped Rangers 3-0. And Frank is absolutely spot on. We bamboozled Rangers. Wonderful performance. Did the same against Motherwell at the weekend. And Celtic... Now, at this moment in time, it's took time, it's took work on the training ground, it's took Ange drumming this into the players every single day, and Celtic right now are a different proposition. If they don't win the league this year, John, how would that be viewed? If Celtic don't win the league from here, being top with 13 games to go, you know, consider where they were at the start of the season. Yeah, they're they in, position, in they position. They couldn't win the league at the start of the season. No, but now. People thought it was now. impossible. So, so I've come mm. this far. It will be remarkable so, so, if they so do it based fan, on where well, they I were. I said it'd be yeah, one of the greatest did. ones for me. And of I course said that. And of course, it would, but Craig's point, I guess, is yeah. now they're top. You know, are they under pressure now so to no, win it? I, I think, I think the Celtic fans will be disappointed now mm -hmm. yeah. if so they don't go on and win it. Simply yeah. because how well Andrew's done with this team. Mm -hmm. He's brought the right personnel in. He's brought the right characters. His signings have all sort of done really, really well. He's hit it off with his, um, you know, with his recruitment, if mm -hmm. you like. Um, and they've got momentum. And they've mm -hmm. got they've got huge momentum. They're on a 19 league game or a 19 game unbeaten run. They've only lost in that period before that to Bayer mm -hmm. Leverkusen, who, mm -hmm. who won the Europa League group. Yeah. So in terms of their form, um, they're doing brilliantly well. But the answer to your question is, Craig's. Uh, I make I make them slight favourites now. Oh yeah, yeah. only like, because of the way that they play. Two weeks ago, I'd have said Rangers yeah. and then driver seat because they're the four point lead. Exactly, and Celtic hadn't shown this type of performance. They've done it in fits and starts, but the two performances over the last two games have been absolutely magnificent. I yeah. have to say that. Tell Alexa to launch Go Radio or listen on the Go Radio app.